young donkey, palm trees, and Jesus. What do these three things have in common? Hello everybody, welcome to the Word for the Week. Today we just finished having our Palm Sunday service and I'm reminded of the scripture from Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 9. And the Bible says, Rejoice, O people of Zion! Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem! Look, your King is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. The phrase that I want you to really pay attention to is this. Here it says, look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious. Your king is coming to you. Normally, when we think about kings, we think about people going to the king, not the king coming to the people. Well, here the Bible says the king is coming to you. The Bible also is very clear regarding the birth of Jesus that God was not waiting for us to come to him, but rather the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus, God in the flesh, he came towards us. And today I'm reminded of the fact, and I want to remind every one of you that God is with us. When this passage of scripture was written, it was a prophecy. Then we see in the book of Luke that Jesus actually came riding on the colt. Now, today, He's not riding on the colt, but he has already ridden on the colt, and he is here with us in our lives. The Bible says to fear not. Why? Because your king is coming to you. So I want to let you know, fear not. Why? Because your king has already come to you. No matter what you're facing in your life, no matter the situation or circumstance, as we enter the Holy Week and as we're about to uh, uh, go through the process of remembering what Good Friday and Easter means to us, fear not. For the Lord your God is with you. And when the Lord your God is with you, you have a righteous king. And a righteous king will always make sure that you have the victory. You have a victorious king and a righteous king with you and who is working on your behalf. Remember this, meditate on this, and walk into the victory that God has for you. I'll talk to you again next time. Be blessed.